All right, we're going to find out how to find the x and y intercepts of a line. So if you have a graph of a line, you can just look and see where the line crosses the x-axis, and that will be the x-intercept, and where it crosses the y-axis, and that will be the y-intercept, unless it's a vertical or a, or a horizontal line, in which case there might not be one of those. Okay, so the first thing we're going to notice, if we look at a graph, that all ordered pairs on the x-axis, so if you look at the x-axis, I have three ordered pairs, negative 5, 0, 1, 0, and 3, 0. Notice that all of the ordered pairs on the x-axis have 0 for its y-coordinate. So an x-intercept is of the form, well, there's some number in here for x, but then the y-coordinate will be 0. And now let's look at the y-axis. I have three ordered pairs, 0, 3, 0, 1, and 0, negative 4, and they all have 0 for their x-coordinate, right? So y-intercepts are of the form, well, there's a 0 in for x and then some number for y. So we're going to use that idea to figure out the x and intercept and y-intercept of a line if we know the equation of the line. All right. So let's find the intercepts on the line 69x minus 12y equals negative 46. Right, well, if we're trying to find the x-intercept, keep in mind we know that for the x-intercept it's in the form something 0, so y must be 0. So we already know what the y-coordinate is. And for the y-intercept, we know the x-coordinate has to be 0. Okay. So let's do the x-intercept first. So if we look at the line, equation of the line, 69x minus 12y equals negative 46, we're trying to finish filling out this ordered pair, and it says to plug in 0 for y. So if we put in 0 for y, that term, negative 12y, will end up being 0, and I will get 69x equals negative 46. So we'll just divide both sides by 69 and reduce it. Let's see. Uh, 23 goes into both of those, so that's negative 2 thirds. So you might not realize that reduces, but keep in mind 46, so that's negative 2 times 23, and 69 is 3 times 23. If you're not sure if something reduces, just factor it, and then you could cancel the common factors. So when I plugged in 0 for y, I got negative 2 thirds, so the x-coordinate of the x-intercept is negative 2 thirds. So the x-intercept is negative 2 thirds 0. There's our x-intercept. All right, why don't you try doing the y-intercept, putting the video on pause, and then turning it on again. All right, we're going to do the y-intercept same way. So if we have our equation, of the line 69x minus 12y equals negative 46. And now we're plugging in 0 for the x coordinate, right? That will give us 69 times 0, that's 0. So this term basically disappears, and we have negative 12y equals negative 46. And then we'll just divide both sides by negative 12. And again, we're going to have to reduce. So a negative divided by a negative will be positive. So let's see, what goes into both 46 and 12? Well, 2 goes into both of them. So if I divide the top by 2, 46 divided by 2 is 23, and 12 divided by 2 is 6. So it looks like our y-coordinate is going to be 23 sixths. It's reduced. So we've got our x-coordinate, and we've got our y-coordinate y-intercept, which is 0, 23, 6. 